Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing in association with Canelo Promotions who proudly presents live on the zone the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the unified super middleweight championship of the world. Sponsored by Hennessy. Never stop. Never settle. Air Force Reserve. Takate. Bed Online, O'Reilly's Auto Parts, Orange Crush, and Value. Sanctioned by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, Chairman Rick Figueroa, Executive Director Brian Francis, Program Manager Greg Alvarez. Also sanctioned by the World Boxing Council, President Mauricio Sudavan, the World Boxing Organization, President Francisco Paco Barcarcel, and the World Boxing Association, President Gilberto Jesus Mendoza, and also recognition by the prestigious Ring Magazine title belt. The three judges at ringside scoring will be Tim Cheatham, Max DeLuca, and Glenn Feldman, and inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, World Championship veteran referee, Mark Colloy. And now, the fighters are in the ring and the officials are ready. So for the sold out 73,000 plus in attendance here at the Cowboy Stadium, AT&T Stadium, and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner with his trainer Mark Tibbs, wearing green and blue. Official weight, 167.8 pounds. His professional record is a perfect one. 30 fights, 30 victories, including 14 wins by knockout. He's a two-time world champion from Hatfield, England, the super middleweight fighting pride of the United Kingdom. The former undefeated middleweight world champion, the reigning, defending, undefeated WBO super middleweight champion of the world, the superb Billy Joe. Officially weighing in at 167.4 pounds. As a professional, 55 victories, including 37 wins by knockout. Only one defeat seven and a half years ago with two draws. He's a four division, five time world champion, considered by many to be pound for pound, the best in the world. Former two time light middleweight world champion, former middleweight. World champion, former light heavyweight, world champion, the reigning, defending Ring Magazine, WBA, WBC, super middleweight champion of the world, Thomas y Caballeros de la Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, presentando a cinco veces campeón del mundo, Saul Panelo. Mr. Saunders, Mr. Alvarez, we've already gone over the rules in the dressing room. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Most importantly, protect yourself at all times. Punches right here and up are going to be good, Saunders. Punches right here and up are going to be good. All that is. Touch gloves, choke and want this. When I sweat it. It's somewhat cliche to suggest that Billy Joe Saunders raises his game to the level of his opposition. But he says he does. His trainer, Mark Tibbs, says he does. Saunders, can he raise his game enough right, to be the first fighter since Floyd Mayweather to beat Canelo Alvarez? We're about to find right out. There. 
Not only right has here. Billy Joe Saunders relished being the underdog this week, Mark. he's embellished it, saying this would right be the there. biggest upset in 20 years, despite Canelo only being a 5-1 to one favorite. Saunders so, has decried this as the modern-day David versus Goliath. Ready? Well, you could go with that because Canelo Watch. really is that infuriate. I mean, he's, he's such a big force in the ring. For him to dethrone Canelo, it really would be something ridiculously special. Let's see if he can do it. Saunders in the green and blue trunks of the yellow gloves. Canelo in the tier. Saunders with that wide stance, that wide southpaw stance. He has an excellent lethal left hand. To turn into an uppercut. Watch out for the right hooks. Saunders has a lot of weapons at his disposal. You know, Carl, the biggest question for me is can Saunders show something other than the jab? 54% of the punches that Saunders lands are jabbed. That number jumps in the high 60s when he's in the super middleweight. I think he's going to have to show something else beyond the jab to win this fight. Canelo called this a difficult fight, Sergio, but he thinks he's going to figure BJ out. No, I was surprised when Eddie Reynoso and Canelo said that we're going to take him out in the 8th, 9th, or 10th. I never heard Canelo use a prediction, but they have so much confidence in the work they put in. First punch from Canelo is an uppercut. Another jab from Saunders. Carl, how much different do you notice Canelo's style changes when he fights a southpaw? Well, he's obviously a little bit more cautious. He doesn't want to throw anything because he knows that counter left cross will be coming back to him. He's your shoulders here, just, just out of range. But he's in the danger zone when he backs up here into the corner and against some ropes. He doesn't want to be there. And you can tell the crowd will roar every time Canelo throws a punch. Right, and that will have an influence with the judges. That did look aggressive. Back Billy Joe up there into the corner and through that heavy body shot. Saunders looking really sharp with that right hand. When he got against the ropes, he bumped Canelo off. That was a good veteran move on Saunders' part. I want to welcome those of you joining us in over 200 countries around the world. Of course, also in the United Kingdom. Good morning to you. Billy Joe Saunders trying to pull off the upset here in Arlington, Texas. Heavy body shot landed by Canelo. Well, Canelo back Saunders up there, putting on the ropes almost, and then really loaded up that big body shot. If you're on the end of that and you're feeling it and you're thinking, right, what else is coming back? Billy Joe, to be fair to him, he's trying to get behind that jab. He's trying to make things happen for himself. So a very pedestrian round one is in the books. Let's see if they pick up the pace here in the second. Pedestrian's going to be good for Billy Joe Saunders. If he can keep Canelo from exploding with the combinations, keep him at the end of that jab, that's, that's the game plan for Billy Joe. Well, he started this round a little bit more purposeful behind that jab. He realize he needs to just be busy with the jab because if he sits back and does nothing, Canelo is able to just close him down and unload it with a power shot. He doesn't want to do that. Canelo looking for a right uppercut. He threw it twice right. already. Dangerous punch, but if it lands against the side ball, that's a hard money punch that he can land. You know, I was talking to Austin Trout this morning about how he fought Canelo and what he wants to see from Billy Joe Saunders. He said Saunders just needs to keep going in and out and try to time Canelo when he moves in. I said, can Saunders do that? I said, yes, but you have to do it for 12 rounds. Straight right hand connects for Canelo. The crowd roars. And he said, Canelo is just relentless. Let him go, Saunders. Don't hold. Eddie Reynoso, the trainer for Canelo, says, listen, I don't usually make predictions. I don't tell you what Canelo is going to do or what I think he's going to do. However, after all the trash talk Billy Joe Saunders has given us, I 
think we're going to knock him out. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can kind of see the difference in the power of the punches immediately. When Canelo lets his shots go, he seems to overwhelm Billy Joe. Almost immediately. Billy needs to be busier. He needs to put three and fours together and then get out of range. And Carl, Carl, any time a southpaw fights an orthodox fighter, that front foot battle is key. It is, yeah, trying to get the foot on the outside. And, you know, sometimes standing on the foot happens with these southpaws. But Billy Joe moving to his right, away from Canelo's right hand there, which is a good move. But that left hook can come over the top if he's not careful. He's got to concentrate constantly, but these, these big shots from Canelo, he's not really... Oh, there's a right hand that moves it back. Good work from Canelo there. Canelo's looking for that counter right uppercut. He's already missed it three times, but he's thrown it with a lot of power. And there it is again, to the body. This crowd has come alive. They've been waiting a couple of hours, but here they are. Fainting by Canelo, really impressed with his foot feints. Billy Joe's not falling for them yet. Two is Billy Joe Saunders, Chris Mannix. How do you think Billy's doing so far? I thought he did pretty well in the first round. Canelo has kind of a history against top opponents of sort of feeling out that first round. I think he did it again. But in that second round, you saw Canelo start to assert himself and land the heavier handed shots. Each of Canelo's last three fights have come exactly 70 days from one another between Smith and Yildrum, and now Saunders. It's an extremely high level of activity for a fighter in present day boxing. Yeah, most active Canelo's been in 10 years. He was telling me earlier, I just stay in the gym all the time. Why wouldn't I fight? Canelo's corner wants more feints, and to close the distance, start breaking the distance down. Canelo said the secret to his success really isn't a secret. It's hard work. See those feints that Billy Joe is, he's, he's biting on. He's starting to bite on those, those foot feints and those hand feints. Plenty of room for Billy Joe to circle around with his 22-foot ring as he suggested. In fact, he claimed he would go home if he didn't get it, Carl. <laughs> Billy Joe needs to be busy with the jab and put shots together because he can't be backed up and so up power punches from Canelo because you can see the effects instantly. You can tell Billy Joe is worried about what's coming back because Canelo makes a small fake and he gets a reaction instantly from Billy Joe. And that's when the guy knows when he gets hit, it hurts. And that's exactly what we see with the opponents of Canelo. When it comes to Kovalev or Jacobs, all these fighters are worried about the counters, the explosive counters of, of Canelo. Push, push. Oh, right hand, best punch of the fight. Billy Joe says, come on. Push. Canelo doubled up on that right hook to the body and the head. These are heavy blows from Canelo. He's putting lots into these shots. Billy Joe saying, these aren't bothering me, I'm okay. But trust me, we can see and hear these shots. They're heavy. And he makes fighters reluctant to throw their biggest punches. Sergey Kovalev, one of the best right hands in his division. He didn't throw many of them against Canelo because he knew if he did, he was coming back. That's right, that your opponent's scared to throw. Well, Saunders has done a good job thus far of staying off the ropes, Sergio. You said that would be one of his keys. Well, that's going to be key, but I want to see some more see sneaky left hands. He has a lethal left hand when it comes to the uppercut. And he can turn. You know, I have no idea why fighters shake their head when they get hit big. Like, 
Does it, do you actually believe it when somebody's looking at you saying Absolutely. that didn't hurt? Absolutely. It's a body language thing. It's You hit me, it didn't hurt. It's just a, a natural reaction for a fighter. It's machismo, Mannix. Chris Mannix, how do you have it scored through three? I've got it two rounds to one in favor of Canelo Alvarez. I thought Billy Joe Saunders was the more active fighter in that first round while Canelo was feeling him out. But as we heard Eddie Reynoso say, Canelo is settling into a rhythm here. He's landing his power shots. And Billy Joe Saunders, at least through the first three rounds, not throwing a lot of power punches back. Nice scoring sequence there for Billy Joe Saunders. Carl, what would you like to see him do differently? More of that. I like to see these combination punches. When he throws, throw three or four shots, they get back off there. You know, you don't need to sit in range and be on the end of these big shots because Canelo will be happy to just back him up like that. Straight right hand. Scores for Canelo. Now he's throwing more power punches. He's certainly settling in as BJ waves him in. Saunders needs to double and triple up that jab. Back up, Canelo. Maybe you could get something going with the combination just like that. That's right. Put the shots together. Get some work. Catch the judge's eyes. Don't just sit there and soak up these big counters. It's good work from Billy. Nice head movement. Coming after that little combination. This is what he needs more of. Mark Tibbs, BJ Saunders trainer said, we can't run in this fight. We got to slide and glide, outbox and outfox Canelo. Saunders has fought only twice since winning the super middleweight title back in 2019. And the reason he got this fight is because Canelo is trying to unify the division. If he wins this, the last man standing will be Caleb Plant. But a long way to go. We're in round four, scheduled for 12. Just missing with that uppercut. You hear the crowd's reaction. And that's the punch that Canelo is barely missing. That's the fourth big uppercut that just missed the chin of Billy Joe Saunders. Straight right hand from Canelo to the body as well. There's the uppercut, and he nods yes that time. Mouthpiece almost came flying out of B.J. Saunders there. Mannix asked why fighters shake no. He said, yes, you got me there. I've liked the work from Billy this round, though. He's put more shots together. He's, he's landed more shots. He's been a bit more effective. This is a good round by B.J. Saunders, absolutely. Canelo's still really in there, though. Close him in a power shot. He needs to finish this round strong now. Billy not get caught of anything silly towards the end of the round. of what we've seen so far, particularly from Canelo Alvarez, Roy. Main thing I've seen so far is that Canelo Alvarez has demanded a lot of respect uh, with his power shots to the body. The power shots to the body have put fear in Billy Joe Saunders, and Billy Joe does not want to be hit to the head with that same power that he's feeling on his arms and on his hip from those body shots. We'll be checking in with Roy Jones Jr. throughout this fight. And I agree with Carl with the last round with Saunders. I thought he boxed well and took that last round, even though he did absorb some body shots, he controlled the distance and landed some good shots. Speaking of body shots, a straight right hand to the rib cage from Canelo. Hurt from draining shots as well. Them, them shots go straight into the pit of the stomach, and even though you don't show any immediate effect, they build up, and they eventually catch up with you. And there's another one, straight down the middle. Good work from Canelo. Yeah, even though you block those shots, they're still going to dig into the side of your ribs and that takes that oh, jab. Nice here. double jab there from Saunders. That's a great jab from Saunders. See, if he can do more than double jabs, they put two shots on the back of it. Get out of range. That's what we want to see. And Saunders has this lethal left uppercut. He steps back and if he can catch Canelo with that left uppercut, he might he might uh, sway uh, the fight in his favor. Canelo said it's going to take me a while to figure this guy out. But Billy Joe Saunders told us his biggest asset in this fight was his ring IQ. He thinks he's a smarter technician than Canelo in the ring. He's definitely crafty and clever. I mean, he uses pivots, he uses angles. He's oh, always nice left hook from Saunders. He's always in position to punch. 
This is what I want to see more from Saunders. And not only is he scoring more right now, Chris Mannix, but he's fighting with confidence. He is fighting with confidence. I'm not so sure I'd be fighting with my hands down quite as much, but he is starting to get into a rhythm, especially with that jab. And inside this 22-foot ring, which is the biggest ring that Billy Joe Saunders has ever fought in, he is using that early in this fight. I actually think BJ Saunders fights better with his hands down. We see him fight with his hands down when he's comfortable and he hands up. He's a little, he's a little off the left. He doesn't throw the punches at all. Three. Good defense there from Billy. He knew that body shot was coming. He was working well behind the jab and putting shots together. He's actually landing on Canelo. 20 seconds to go in this round. It's been a good round for Saunders. Saunders fighting a little bit more fluid, more confidence. But if Canelo is just going to look for big. Heavy punches and big shots. That's not going to work for me. Billy is busy. Look at Billy Joe Saunders. He is starting to find his form. Waving to this crowd. Sergio, do you feel the momentum changing, or do you think it's a one-off? No, I think it's a two-off. I gave Billy Joe Saunders the last <laughs> two rounds, and I think he's feeling it now. This is this is what you need to see with such a, a a precise puncher like Saunders. He needs to have that swag and that confidence to be firing on all cylinders. Chris, how do you have it? Score through five. Yeah, I've got three rounds to two in favor of Billy Joe Saunders. Whoa! Billy Saunders did an excellent job over these last two rounds of taking the momentum back. You saw the second and third round, Canelo got into a groove. Saunders with his combination punches, I thought regained some of that momentum, and he has been the more active, and in my opinion, the more accurate puncher these last two rounds. Carl, what say you? Well, I've got 3-2 to Canelo, because I gave Canelo that first round. I put him under a real heavy body shot, and you know, for me, that eye-catching shot just nicked it. It was a close round. Can't argue from the other way, but I'm loving the work now from Billy Joe. Just needs to be busier. This is evidently a fight between the power puncher who wants to back the boxer up and just nail him to the body or head. Canelo's looking for the big shot. There you go, the big heavy shot. Nice defense there by Billy Joe Saunders. But Billy needs to be busy. He needs to let his hand go. Swing and a miss by Canelo. You don't see a miss by that much too often. Saunders. Doing the job defensively, caught him with a quick short hook on the inside. Good catch and counter by Saunders right there. He needs to be busier, Carl, but with the jab, smart jab, just like that. Smart jab, yeah, don't get too confident, but I don't want to speak too soon, but this is good work from Billy Joe Saunders. It's a great he's, work, he's relaxed. You know, so he's relaxed. He said to yourself, when his arms come down low a little bit, it looks, it looks dangerous, but that's when he's in his rhythm. Carl, the the path to victory for B.J. Saunders seemed extremely slim coming into this fight, but this appeared to be the blueprint if he was to pull it off. That's right, he's doing exactly what he needs to do if he is to get the victory here tonight. He needs to be busy with the combination punches. I mean, he's not being that busy because he's not being put under relentless pressure from Canelo. He's been clever with his feet, he's putting the ring off Canelo, but he's not under major pressure. Billy Joe Saunders can relax until then big shots come. I mean, that was a right hook. Right around the guard, too. Landed on the chin. Saunders shook it off. Sticks his tongue out right now. That's a Tyson Fury move. Well, this is the mind games. You see at the start of the round, his arms up, playing to the crowd. But that's what Canelo does to opponents. He makes he makes you keep your punches holstered. He doesn't want to, you don't want to punch against Canelo because you know something's going to be returning. Explosive counter puncher Canelo is. Stop throwing the jab here. He stopped feeling it. Right there, Canelo felt that shot. This was a good round by Canelo, but catch and counter if you're Billy Joe. What's in the inside? So here we go. Round seven scheduled for 12. This is for the unified super middleweight championship of the world. It is a very competitive fight. Some thought this would be a walkover for Canelo. It has not. I'm impressed with the way Billy Joe Saunders has been able to absorb them shots. I thought they'd catch up with him. I mean, we're in the start of the second half of the fight now, and he seems to be okay in coping with this. 
I would love to see him catching counter off those those punches, catching the, the hooks of the body and coming up with uppercuts. Well, he did that catch and count in the last round with that body shot and then up to the head. So, yeah, more of that. More of that. You know, Big Joe Saunders is letting his hands go in the ring with Canelo more than any opponent I've seen since he's been out of Golovkin. He's throwing combinations. They're not as impactful as Golovkin's, but he's letting his hands go more than the usual Canelo opponent will. Let's bring in Roy Jones Jr. again. Roy, what are you seeing from B.J. Saunders? Right now, uh, the, 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 the time has changed just a little bit. He's allowed to throw more punches. He's landing that jab effectively. He hit Canelo with a few good body shots, which is something nobody expected, including Canelo. So right now, I think Billy Joe has shifted the tide just a little bit, and uh, Canelo needs something big right here to seize this momentum back. Uppercut from Canelo. Chris, did you expect it to be this close in round seven? I didn't, because when you face Canelo Alvarez, as we talked about, you can talk about what you're going to do in the ring. But when you go up against that type of speed and that type of power, the game plan changes almost in an instant. But Billy Joe Saunders has stuck to his game plan, and his game plan has been incredibly effective. Effective because this is a southpaw's ammo. This is the way they fight. They're polished and sophisticated behind that jab, using southpaw angles, escaping to the right. Roy Jones. Much, much like Eric Hunday Lara did, uh, Billy Joe is moving around the ring on Canelo, making it very difficult for Canelo to land a big shot. And that right there, trading is the only thing that he could do to give Canelo an advantage. As long as he keeps his fight on the outside and can circle Canelo, he's going to keep giving Canelo problems. And Canelo has gotten away from that body attack just a little bit. 20 seconds to go here in round seven. The work output of Canelo isn't really there for me. Loading up with these big shots, not really landing a great deal. He's slowed down himself, he's planting his feet, he's not as busy. Billy finding a rhythm for me. Yes, he is, and he found a rhythm with his hands down. I think that's when he fights his best. Well, <laughs> round eight, Arlington, Texas, AT&T Stadium. Super middleweight championship of the world. A very competitive contest, extremely close. Canelo continues to fire those power shots, most of them missing. Thomas told us he can't afford to lose rounds or give up an inch, and he's doing exactly what he said. This is a close fight. Inch for inch, punch for punch. Chris, do you, still, do, you, do you sense that Canelo's still just trying to figure him out a little bit? I think he's definitely trying to figure him out. I think Billy Joe Saunders throwing punches from different angles, giving him different looks, staying on the move. These are scoring shots that Saunders is landing, and Canelo is not returning much in coming back. Keep in mind, Eddie Reynoso and Canelo, for that matter, predicted they would stop Saunders in either round seven, eight, or nine. If Canelo is going to rely on power punches, which is evident that's what he's looking for, he's going to have to be busier. I agree. All right, Carl, let's hear your scorecard right now. How do you have it through seven full rounds? 68-66 to Canelo. He had a great start. Finished. Finished pretty strong. The last round, I didn't separate in the last round. 68-66, Canelo. He's only two rounds up. Saunders took an awkward step back, and now he's holding on. Chris, your scorecard, you've got Saunders ahead. I've got 68-65 in favor of Billy Joe Saunders. I look at the last couple of rounds, Carl, and you yep. see Canelo landing big shots at these here. And look, the, the, the right eye of Saunders is swelling up. Canelo rattling his troops here at AT&T Stadium. And this is what Canelo does to opponents. He breaks down opponents and, opponents and makes them weary of this shot that are coming their way. He's like a matador. Well, that's the power from Canelo. Billy says he's okay, but this is a bad moment for him in this fight.
He predicted a KO in round eight or nine. And he's heating up right now. I don't like the body language, how he's reacting to the feints. Billy Joe Saunders is biting on feints now. That's because he's worried about the power. Exactly. He's not sure what's happening with his eyes until he gets back to his corner. And he's quick to smother the attack of Canelo, hugging and breaking the distance instead of countering back. Nice right, straight right hand. Yeah, Billy Joe needs to hear this bell here, go to the corner and regroup. Nice left uppercut from Canelo. This is his best round. So perhaps. Thank you. 